FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. You're listening to Almond in the Morning. Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Poor Randy Travis. Last time I tried to buy cigarettes without any clothes on, I got away with it, but he didn't. He wasn't so lucky. You can't drink before you do that. That's the problem. <laughs> you just got to just do it. You got to be sober when you're naked and buying cigarettes. That's my suggestion for you. Five things that are considered good for you now that just might kill you in 20 years. Buying cigarettes naked drunk. <laughs> Frozen yogurt, 3D TV, cell phones, running. Yes, that's a lie. And hand sanitizer. Now, I'm I might be with totally you agree with sanitizer. you on that. Do you realize I saw something outside of a Walgreens? Now they have shingles vaccinations. Where'd that yeah. come from? I mean, where did that come from? I don't know. And don't we have, I mean, my opinion is we have too many vaccines as it is. All these antibiotics and vaccines and stuff are preventing our bodies from getting, break, getting natural defenses. Put, get, letting your kid use hand sanitizer is quite possibly one of the worst possible things you can do for a kid. You need to make them eat, you know, well not make them, you need to let them eat dirt mm-hmm. and worms and that kind of stuff. <laughs> let them keep worms in their pockets. I think the sickest kids in school are the ones that have the moms running around with them with hand sanitizer oh, every two seconds. I know, washing their hands Ask all the time. Ask them how many and... times they miss school. I oh, never yeah. give me a hand sanitizer. She didn't miss a day of school last year. Good for you. <laughs> Hannah, building up her defenses. That's what it's all about. All right, let's move on here. Todd Aiken is on Fox News really early this morning. He does a great job. He, I still can't figure out why the national news media is calling him the Tea Party candidate. Now, again... It's no offense to the Tea Party in any way, shape, or form, but to me, it undermines the strength of Todd Aiken's candidacy and plays into the hands of Claire McCaskill, who wants him to be the Tea Party candidate because she knows that the news media and the general public, unfortunately, have bought into this idea that somehow the Tea Party is a negative thing. So to me, it plays into that whole deal. And I don't like it, and I don't know why Fox News and those guys are doing it. But it helps the Democrats when they describe Todd Aiken as a Tea Party guy. Todd Aiken, as I pointed out before, was conservative long before it was cool. And his cred is pretty strong without the Tea Party. But anyway, the media is so lazy. And, but, but I don't know where this came from. My, my supposition is it came from the Democrats. Anyway, here's Todd Aiken on the Fox Friends Morning Show. Well, I think she's a little out of contact with the state and has been for a number of years. If you take a look at people in Missouri, I am pro-life and I'm very strong on the Second Amendment. uh, But a lot of Missouri voters feel the same way that I do on that. Yeah, they're trying trying to claim she asked him whether he's uh, too socially conservative. It's like that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the economy right now. And Todd Aiken is, is uh, I guess if you want to call it social conservatism, but, um, you know, listen, this guy's been talking about this for a long, long time. And the jobs quotient there is uh, something I think he's mastering. I don't know why the media is focusing on social issues. Again, it's because Claire McCaskill wants to do that because that's the only way she's going to be able to fight him on this uh he's too conservative level. She's going to talk about gay marriage and abortion all day long, not the economy and not the fact that she's been flying on Obama's Air Force One for a while uh, back before it's, uh, you know, back before she abandoned the ship, so to speak. O'Reilly, you know, this is again, the media. O'Reilly says that the, the, the media is Obama's best weapon here. President I mean, Obama and the American media. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Last night on The Factor, Bernie Goldberg said this about the political media and President Obama. So they drooled all over him four years ago, and all they could find now are gaffes in Romney's trip. Look, obviously, journalists are Barack Obama's most loyal base. They will not abandon him, and uh, they've got too much invested in him. Absolutely right. They sure as hell do. He's their guy. And this Pew Research study also showed just their even their voting habits are, uh, you know, are, are reflected that way. Hey, Tom, thanks for calling the show. Hi, good morning. Hey, I, I tend to think the Tea Party label is a positive. I think it was Tea Party voters 
who got Todd Akin through the primary. I mean, it was a decision about which one, which candidate would best defeat Claire McCaskill, and it was a tight race. Well, they, they, a lot of, but Tom, a lot of Tea Party people supported John Bruner. A lot of Tea Party people supported Sarah Steelman. I mean, again, I'm not saying it's a negative commenta- connotation for me. And of course, if you're a Tea Partier, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great thing too. What I'm saying is, it's not accurate. It's not accurate. In fact, uh, if you really want to get right down to it, Todd Aiken, back in the day when we were fighting for Prop B. He was doing that with other grassroots organizations. The Tea Party wasn't even part of that whole deal, and he was the one who was at the forefront of that. So, I mean, you know, it's it's there's a lot of mixes here, and and you know, on some people, I think I think Tom, you're taking too much credit for the rise of Todd Aiken, but uh, but the media, though, you know why the media is calling him a Tea Party candidate. I mean, you know why they're doing that, right? They're doing that because in the minds of uh, Americans, and so, especially the uh, news media and others, it has a negative connotation. I'm not saying that's the right thing. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but I'm saying that's the reality. And you call somebody a Tea Party candidate, and half the independents aren't aren't going to go near him. That's what the media are banking on. Uh, that's that's what the uh, Claire McCaskill campaign is banking on, and that's why I actually think it's a it's a ruse. And again, no offense to the Tea Party, no offense to you, Tom, but you know. We're all in this with Todd Aiken. Tea Party doesn't own Todd Aiken. 969 Ann Coulter's on the hunt for this Romney spokesperson. It's some money stuff. Also, we'll follow up. I got an email from Mr. McCarty, who is raffling off the AR-15. He was the object of a hit job piece from Channel 4. We'll... Talk more about that too. Your phone calls are welcome. 969 9797.